Reporting for Computer Insider, I'm Bob Pritchard. As Hurricane Sandy pounded the U.S. Atlantic coast on Monday night, knocking out electricity and internet connections, millions of residents turned to Twitter as part Newswire, part 911 hotline, and humped through the night, even as some websites failed and swatches of Manhattan fell into darkness. But the social network also became a fertile ground for pranksters, who seized the moment to dissimulate rumors and photoshopped images, including a false tweet Monday night that the trading floor of the New York Stock Exchange was submerged under several feet of water. The exchange issued a denial, but not before the tweet was circulated by countless users and reported on air by major television networks, illustrating how Twitter has become an essential but deeply fallible spine of information cruising through real-time major media events. But a year after Twitter gained attention for its role in its rescue efforts in tsunami-stricken Japan, the network seemed to solidify its mainstream foothold as government agencies, news outlets, and residents in need turned to it at a critical hour. Beginning late on Sunday, government agencies and officials, from New York Governor Andrew Cuomo to the Federal Emergency Management Agency, all had an account for evacuation orders and updates. As the storm battered New York City Monday night, residents encountering clogged 911 dispatch lines flooded the city's fire department's Twitter account with appeals for information and help for trapped relatives and friends. At the Red Cross of America's Washington, D.C. headquarters in a small room called the Digital Operations Center, six wall-mounted monitors displayed a stream of updates from Twitter and Facebook and a visual heat map of where postings seeking help were coming from. That heat map informed the Red Cross's aid workers how to deploy their resources. And by the way, there's a New Brunswick connection to all of this. The Red Cross used Radian 6, a social media monitoring tool sold by Salesforce.com, and developed right here to spot people seeking help and answer their questions. Kind of makes you feel good inside, doesn't it? Reporting for Computer Insider, I'm Bob Pritchard.